Hello, dear teachers and aspiring teachers. Today, I will share with you my experience on my first demo lesson on Native Cam and why I feel. Okay, for a short introduction, I already have experience in teaching online, so following the lesson flow on Native Cam was not difficult for me. Okay, so let's proceed. <laughs> So, I decided to take my demo lesson at night around 7 p.m. para walang istorbo sa akin. I waited for only less than 5 minutes and then I heard the magica doorbell. Ting ting! When you hear the bell, it means it's your turn for the demo class. Bigla bigla na lang yung sound. Then, yan, prakabahan ka talaga. Okay, so she was so nice to me kasi obvious talaga na kinabahan ako. <laughs> so, she gave me time to relax muna. I was so nervous because I don't know which lesson she would choose. I was hoping na grammar beginner 4, which is do you, why do you need nato? I was somehow relieved when she chose grammar beginner for so yeah so then it on so we started with the introduction okay so hello welcome to native camp my name is like this and then you have to type it on the chat box and then send it okay so can you hear and see me clearly and then she said yeah teacher and then, yeah, so, my name is Fatima, what's your name? And then she said, Marielle. So, I asked if this is the correct spelling of her name, because you have to type it also in the chat box when the student tell their name. So, yeah, and then she said, yeah, that's correct. Okay, so by the way, am I speaking too fast or too slow? And then she answered me, just fine, teacher. Okay, wow. Okay, so I can see that you chose grammar beginner four. Am I correct? And she said, yes. And then, okay, so let's proceed to our lesson. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. So she opened her class. She opened her camera, by the way. So, yeah. So, today's lesson is lesson number four. The title is, Why do you need NATO? Please repeat after me. Why do you need NATO? Why do you need NATO? Okay, so please check today's goal. Then, I'm done. Let's move on to today's phrase. Please repeat after me twice. Okay, so we read today's phrases two times. Okay, so we proceed. Let's move on to new words or expressions. Please check the directions. I'm done. Okay, please repeat after me twice. So, yeah, so we read this two times and then you have to be listen carefully, especially for the words that she might be mispronounced so because and then she said because so yeah once you heard the word that she mispronounced you have to type it on the chat box also and then oh it is because okay s sounds z okay so yeah so she didn't have question so you know proceed na kami sa proceed na kami sa short conversation. So please check the directions. I'm done. I'm done. So yeah. So we so we finish this first. We finish this, and then she told me, "Okay, teacher, let's proceed to the question." Okay. So yeah, this part. Dito ako bumagsak. Because, yeah, maybe because I was confident na because the student 
is beginner, so sh she might not ask many questions. So, please check the directions. And I'm done. Okay, so please answer my questions. Number one, does Charlotte like Nato? Her answer, no, she didn't like Nato. At that point, I forgot to type it on the chat box. And then, it's like, oh, thank you for answering Miss Mariel, but your answer is incorrect. And then she, the, she asked me why. Why? Why, teacher? So, I told her, because the question is in the present tense. So, instead of using did, please use does. Because... The, because we are referring to Charlotte. Charlotte is only one. Okay, so the answer is, no, she doesn't like Nato. So, yeah, nakalimutan ko na namang ilagay sa chat box yung correct answer. Okay, so do you have any question? And she said, none. So, yeah, ganun lang akong nag-explain. So, napaka hindi ko siya and explain further. Okay, so nag-proceed na kami sa number two. Why does James need Nato for the barbecue? Okay, so her answer, because he cook it with meat and vegetable. Cook. So, I told her again, thank you for trying, but your answer is incorrect. Because your answer is cook. Our subject is only one. It is James, and then your answer is he. So, if you use the word he, the verb should, you should add s or es to the verb. Okay, so she asked me why. So, I was really shocked. So, I told her, yeah, because if the subject is singular, the verb should add or you should add s or es. Okay, so teacher, how about she? Oh, she is singular also, so you should add S or ES. Okay, teacher, so how about I? I is only one, so should I say I cooks? So I said no. And then she asked me why? So yeah, nagkalito nito nago. I was not really prepared. So yeah. So, I answered her because it's in the rule of English. Okay, so which rule? So, she asked me again, which rule? So, at that time, I ran out of explanation. So, I told her, can you, can you please wait? So, I searched. So, basically, kinakabahan nga talaga ako. So, ang nabasa ko is third personal pronoun. So, yun, sa kakamadali ko. Yun ang banggit ko since I and you, they are third personal pronoun. And then, yeah, she told me, okay, teacher, let's stop here. And to sabi niya, you should be familiar with subject-verb agreement and you should be careful how you teach with your students, especially beginner students. Like that. So, yeah. Kailangan natin talagang mag-focus dun talaga sa I. You yung mga basic grammar, basic rules of English, subject-verb agreement. So, I is in the first person. So, they take plural verb. I, we, they take plural verb. And then second, second, second person, you, they take also plural verb. Because they agree to be plural verb. According to the subject verb agreement. Okay, so while third personal pronoun singular, he, she, it, they add s and es. While third plural pronoun they, no need to add s or es. So yeah, she explained to me the flow of subject verb agreement. And then she. Yeah, she, she complimented me like, you showed to me your enthusiasm in working in native camp, but you have to 
explain further to your students the ans the passive uh, the answers to the questions, especially if they have questions. So yeah, so she gave me she gave me this smile like cheer up, cheering smile, and yeah, she was so nice. So yeah, she gave me advices. She gave me tips. So yeah, she told me that I didn't pass the demo lesson. I have to retake it, and I said thank you. So yun yun yung experience ko sa native camp. Hanggang dito lang kami. Okay, so pinagpatuloy ko naman yung second demo class ko. But I will, I will, I will share with you my experience on my second demo lesson on native camp on my next video. Okay, so you guys, I hope na may natutunan kayo sa video na to. So be prepared and yeah. <laughs> be prepared so thank you so much for thank you so much thank you so much for watching hanggang ngayon kinakabahan kaloka first video ko kasi so if you have any questions just comment down below and i will try to answer it as soon as possible thank you bye bye